Let's create a pivotal impact. Friends in the industry, I'm Josh Hannabury, your host of the Truck Focus podcast. And our mission here at the podcast is simple. Connect transportation industry leaders to the industry to help create a pivotal change. So today I'm super excited to speak with Andy Coy, founder and CEO of My Trucker Pro. My Trucker Pro provides an opportunity for professionals to be successful in the transportation industry all in one place because there's so much more than a community platform. So I really encourage you to learn more about them by visiting mytruckerpro.com. So I think for a lot of us professionals in the transportation industry, such as professional drivers, carriers, carriers, or business owners servicing the transportation industry, one of the largest hurdles we face is navigating through the enormous amount of information we're required to know in order to be successful. So to add to that, we also face a challenge of trusting who's who and what's what, because unfortunately, most of us have experienced some sort of distrust in the past. So My Trucker Pro is an excellent community that allows professionals to connect with others, share trustworthy information, and best of all, get involved in the transportation industry to further their success. So towards the end of our episode, Andy walks us through what initially brought him to the transportation industry and how he's using his expertise in technology to really create an impact. So if this is the first time you've ever checked out a Truck Focus podcast, I really welcome you to our community and a huge shout out to our dedicated listeners. Thank you so much for your continued investment of time. Make sure that you like this episode and share it out, but also subscribe to the channel that you're listening to. I really look forward to the impact this or this interview is going to have. Let's get to it. Hey, Andy, welcome to the Truck Focus podcast. Really excited for our conversation today. I'll see you on a number of uh, fronts. First off, your journey from what I know so far, super fascinating. Um, you've definitely had a, uh, a journey filled career this far, and I'm really proud of my Trucker Pro. I'm really proud of the platform. And I'm super grateful just for the opportunities that it's even presented for myself in our journey with the podcast. But yeah, really happy to have you on. Welcome. Well, thank you very much for uh, for taking the time to have me on the show. Absolutely. And before we get too far, for those that are watching, I do want to give a huge shout out to my hat. Um, I recently won uh, some recognition with the platform, my trucker pro. And uh, yeah, Jack sent me a hat, a kind letter, obviously from Andy, but uh, it does mean a lot. And I think the when you talk about community, often people think, oh, there's this face value, but going the extra mile and yeah, making people feel important. I thought that was a, a really good, this to me, it was really wholesome. So I do appreciate that. So thank you so much. No problem. No problem. Awesome. So kind of to start us off, why don't you give us a, an overview of just your journey in obviously the technological industries, but also how you yeah, came to be in the transportation industry over the last little while? Yeah, well, that's a good question. Um, I've, I'm a veteran, I would say, of the uh, technology industry, um, kind of grew up in the Silicon Valley, uh, Bay Area, high tech, uh, working for some of the big firms um, for a number of years. And uh, also, as part of that, saw a lot of companies uh, start from virtually nothing and became, uh, you know, billion dollar organizations. Um, so uh, very um attuned to what can happen here if you get the right mix of uh, technology and marketing and uh, are actually doing something that benefits a, uh, you know, a marketplace, right? So, yeah, the, uh, I think there's a lot of, so again, I'm not where you're from. So when I share my perspectives, it's through, like, there's a lot of, in Canada, like Calgary has a lot of home bases that are in the tech industry, a lot of oil and gas industry, a lot of startups as well. But when you say billions, <laughs> to me, I'm always like, huh? <laughs> like, that's a good number. So the, uh, yeah, so from your, I guess your experience in the startup space, is that what gave you maybe the confidence to say, hey, we can do this too? Is Was that just you've been in the space for a long time, you're a veteran there, you understand what can happen. Is that what gave you the confidence to go for it? Or what would you say, yeah, spark that? I, I think that's part of it. But also, I think part of it is the the team that I um, had worked with for many years in various aspects and pulled this team together that are just, uh, you know, kind of, I, I want to say, uh, bragging rights here. They're, they're kind of the best of the best. And they've, they've been through... Um, you know, helping those companies go from zero to a billion dollars, uh, you know, when we were working for the, the bigger companies. 
And so um, having the team and the vision that the team can come up with and, and redirect um, is really uh, probably in a, the, the most important piece of, of what we bring to the table. The other piece of, uh, to answer your first question a little more uh, about the industry uh, of transportation and, you know, focused in the trucking aspects of transportation at this point, although we, we plan on broadening that. But, um, you know, we looked at it and thought, you know, what an underserved industry that we're looking at here. And so important when you look around your, your house or your, you know, everything that's in your house, including the walls, all, all arrived on a truck, right? So for an industry that's so important to be underserved uh, from a technology uh, perspective, just really made us, you know, that much more motivated to put something together that really is going to, you know, sing in this industry. Totally. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. I think it's under, underserved, underappreciated and, and misunderstood. And there's so many, I'd say opportunities in transportation. I speak on that quite a bit. Part of it because I'm a millennial, part of it because I have a 12 year old that's really, I call him a trucking junkie. But ultimately, something had to come on a truck. So once it's basically brought from a boat to inland, at some point or another, for it to get to your house, it came on a truck, which obviously has a professional driver. But then if you start going through the workflow of, like, say, a, a shipper to a carrier, driver to the customer, the amount of paperwork and the amount of manual processes that just are so many, cost so much pain points, cost so much money. That's where technology really, I would say it's a saving grace, but it's the future. And your timing, as we dive into my tracker Pro, I get excited when timing really aligns. And over the last half decade, the governments actually have basically forced industry, transportation industry to become more, I guess, mindful and start adapting technologies as they change electronic logging device requirements, as they're becoming more open to paperless situations. They're really telling carriers and truckers that they, hey, you actually have to do this now, which again, to integrate more technology, your timing is really on point. So I think that's really exciting. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's interesting. We looked at a lot of existing technologies that are in transportation, and it kind of reminds me of uh, you know the old days of uh, com computing, right? And what we're trying to bring to the table is sort of the Apple experience, where there are no user manuals, there are no training sessions needed. You just pick it up, and you it's it's so obvious how to use it that it it just feels good, and it's a great experience through the whole process. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that analogy for sure. So before we dive into my Trucker Pro, where do people go so that way, A, they can check out the platform, but make sure that they sign up as well? Uh, easiest place to go is just to go to go.mytruckerpro.com and you'll get right to the sign up screen. Um, we have recently uh, implemented uh, a new feature that allows you to use your existing uh, logins from other social media platforms you can use. Good job. So is it integrated then all in those platforms too? That's how you're able to do that? No, that's just a feature that they offer where people are, you know, juggling so many usernames and passwords. It just makes it easier if you, you know, you could use your Facebook or your Instagram or your Apple or Google. Those are the four. I just okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that existed. So it's really smart. And yeah, app overload and oh, another one. That's nice to know. No, no. <laughs> You're really thinking light years ahead on the simplicity and the ease of use. A really good job. What's the overarching mission then of my trucker pro? Our, our initial mission is to really connect the entire uh, transportation ecosystem on a platform that, you know, first of all, your voice can be heard. You don't have to be a, a billion dollar organization to, to get out there and be heard. Anyone can be heard. Um, it's a, uh, you know, open platform. Uh, there is moderation uh, that, that we do for, you know, bad language or, you know, all the all the things that you can't do on a, a platform, but uh, we're apolitical. Um, we want people to have discussions and feel that they can have discussions about any aspect of, of transportation and including, you know, politics around it. And, you know, obviously we know there's a lot of politics uh, these days uh, with transportation and trucking. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I have a, a number of Facebook groups and I was getting notified of, I forget the exact language and I don't want to insult the Facebook community and behind the scenes, but I, I felt like they were Facebook police because someone was talking about things that were political and I'm mindful of conversations, but I don't like, like there's no racism, no sexism, nothing like that. But I'm like, you don't have a conversation with what you believe. Okay. Just be mindful of what you share. But yeah, getting those notifications was stressful as the owner or the, the manager of those groups, because I'm like, are you going to take it away from me? Like that was awkward. So knowing that again, that my checker pro is a place where you can actually have a conversation, I think is really key, especially right now, because there's a lot of things happening that need to be talked about. They're just, yeah. Be mindful of your language. I think is important. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So when you say more than a community platform, so I like I can relate to that. So I like it. But what's the I guess what's the the one two punch behind that meeting I, from your perspective? I, I don't want to give mine. <laughs> so uh, what I can say is many more things are coming to the site. Um, what we what we don't want to do is, you know, create a new load board or create something that's already out there. What we're doing is partnering with the best of the best um, and uh, allowing a uh, our platform to be a vehicle for transactions. You're going to see the ability to be uh, able to conduct transactions um, on our platform here very shortly uh, with those those load boards or the different vendors that you you know are used to working with you you will be able to do transactions within our platform. Uh, within a digital wallet that we're providing um, for, you know, the overall commerce in transportation. Very smart. Very smart. Hey, Josh here. Just a quick interruption from Andy and I's conversation. As I really want to encourage you to check out My Trucker Pro, as the community and the platform are incredible. So simply visit mytruckerpro.com and you can sign up for free today. Let's get back to the episode because I wanted to go into membership. And I think that's part of the answer already is what do you feel is one of the number one values or the most value someone could get as a member. And I think that you just hit the nail on the head where you can really manage your business through there. You can grow your business, grow your relationships, the trusted partners too, because you have the best of the best. And was that part of the vision all along too, or did that kind of just come with time? I think it evolved because it, initially we had looked at it and said, oh, you know, we could do a load board or we could do a marketplace or we could do all these, you know, different functions and features that are out there and some really good point solutions that are out there for sure. Um, but instead of competing with those, we decided it would be better just to facilitate their transactions, right, on our platform. So the the end result is you'll be able to sort of live in my trucker pro in day to day and have access to everything that you you need it day to day and then you on top of it you have that communication platform that we're providing uh which is you know connections social uh, you know there's forums uh, all, all the things that you would want to dig way down into and find out about you know it's all going to be on the site nice yeah, make sure you check out my uh, my page, the Trek Focus podcast page that I created. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my own little plug there. Who then is the most ideal, um, I guess, ideal member? Would it, do you kind of put them into buckets? Like I try and speak in the very simple terms. So I put people in the buckets or either a user for, you're getting value from, or you're offering service to kind of thing. But who's the most, I guess, ideal users for the platform? So to start with, and that's a great question to start with, we have developed it to, to facilitate any size company, right? But we saw that the, the owner operators and the smaller guys are kind of underserved. And it was important to provide tools that um, they could be, again, with the philosophy, they could be heard, they can also be seen. For example, we have a, a area on the site where you can, let's say you're a small owner operator and you don't have a website. Well, you can develop a website on inside MyTracker Pro within just a, a few minutes, put, post up your pictures and so on and so forth, and you suddenly have a presence, right? So it's sort of that aspect sort of levels the playing field with, you know, who's out there and who's being heard and who's being seen and how do you promote your business? Well, we're offering, you know, for free, a place that you can build your own website within transportation and promote your business. Incredible. 
Yeah, that's a, uh, so for all of, again, even though I'm based out of Calgary, Alberta, we do have an audience kind of throughout Canada and into the States. That's a huge benefit because even just managing a website, like we're revamping our website right now, so much time and there's a big cost to it. So knowing that you can do it from the platform is a huge upsell. If you're a single owner operator, say you have three trucks on the road, you do not have time to be, is my SEO strong enough? I don't know. Is this strong enough? I don't know. So the fact that it's all in one place again, really well done, really thought out. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's one aspect of it. The other piece is with the, all the different people in trucking and transportation, uh, there's a lot of different languages that are spoken. And so we've designed the site where it supports 108 languages and not only, um, you know, the, uh, the news wall, but the entire site. So you can actually, if you're chatting with someone on our site back and forth, you, let's say you speak Spanish and I speak French, I see everything you're typing, uh, it comes up French for me and everything I'm typing to you comes up in Spanish. So uh, again, it, 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 even with multiple conversations at the same time, like a forum, uh, there could be over 100 people with all different languages and they're communicating uh, real time back and forth. Wow, that's a huge value add because as we know in our industry, there are multiple languages and often our like our power units or commercial vehicle speaks for itself and you can do a wave and that most people know what a wave is and you carry on, but knowing that you can have an in-depth conversation, solve problems, but the language piece, again, very thought out, good job. Yeah, and wow. we're also, that kind of sets the table for us to be a worldwide platform pretty much right away. So it's just promoting in different countries, but it, the technology is already built uh, to do that. Good work. Yeah, that is that is smart. And so I'm really involved in, I would say, a different layers of trucking here in Canada. And the number is a guesstimated number, but the non-English speaking, or it's the second language where it's very broken, like English is not common. They're newer to our country and it's awesome. You're welcome. Knowing that they can confidently communicate and they can confidently do business again from a global platform. Now that's really exciting. And it's, it's real. You guys have really filled a need because that's a big piece. Like a lot of training is just in English. And if English is your second or third language and you're definitely smart enough to finish what you need to finish, but you just don't understand the language, the fact that you can translate it and you're okay. If I'm speaking Punjabi, great. Or if I'm speaking Spanish, great. I think that's so much value, man. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's. I think it's it's really a, a piece. Once people recognize what's going on with that, they just they love it. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess the question, and I'll ask it in a, a little bit of a naive way, is how are you managing from a user's perspective for it to like stay free? Is the and you don't have to again. There's no trade secrets that I want you to share. Just asking the question, but from a free quote unquote perspective, as transactions come in, is that part of the shift? Where then instead of it being a membership fee, it's a transactional fee, or how are, how are you managing that space? Because that's again, that's a big win for the industry. But as a business, obviously, I'm interested to know. Yeah, yeah. So yes, the the the, the social or the connection part of the platform will always remain free, uh, free to join and free to use and free to promote your business and so on and so forth. Where we look for our revenue is from sponsors that are on the site. Uh, and then also the, the really the, the key revenue that differentiates this is the transactional fees associated with our blockchain uh, that we're, we're coming out with, like I say, in the next few months, it's all, it's all working now, but we're, we're just piloting it. And but then that actually benefits all of us users because instead of having to pay bank fees and uh, you know high interest rates and you know Visa, Mastercard transactional fees, those get reduced down to a very very small number in comparison to what you know is being paid now. So yeah. again, the platform is you know we're designing it to benefit not only the the bigger companies that would use it, but the small independent you know truckers that. If, if they can save some money by, you know, avoiding, uh, you know, high fees with, with banking, um, that's going to benefit them. Yes. Well, yeah, and I think it's going to, uh, everybody knows somebody that's going to need it. And it's going to uh, give the opportunity to say, hey, actually, I hear what you're saying. I'm eavesdropping. Go to My Trucker Pro. 
because ultimately what they're about to buy, they can save money going through the platform. They're getting a better service. It's trusted. So yeah, that's a lot of wins. And that's a good, that's a good model. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. From a, I guess, a, a user and exposure um, components, are you predominantly right now US members? Obviously, I'm in Canada, so Canadian members. Are you seeing some in Europe or down in Mexico? Or do you know kind of predominantly where your member base is right now? Well, we have an extensive analytics behind the platform that, that looks at where people are coming from and you know what kind of transactions they're, they're looking to do and what parts of the site they're going to and so on and so forth. Um, right now, I would say the majority is in the US. Um, Canada is starting to wake up as well. And then some uh, uh, southern you know, border, uh, so Mexico and, and that. There, and surprisingly, there are actually uh, a number of users that are getting on in, in Europe as well. So, um, you know, I, I can see uh, the, the nature of what we're doing. It, it can grow very quickly. Yes. And, and is there, it one there, of there are no doing? barriers of, of entry, really? Good. Good. Well, that's a true global platform then. Do you find that you have, you don't have to name drop, but do you have competition or is it, because to me, it seems very unique, very well thought out, but I haven't heard of a platform like this or the direction so is this like kind of you you and your team just yeah this we own this space or do you find that you're competing with other like people's trying to grab attention or how's that going well i think you know the industry was using tools that are in place uh you know for a long time so the typical the facebook's the linkedin's the you know places you could go and create a forum and create but again uh those have their their drawbacks, and I don't I don't want to go into a lot of detail around that. But you know, I think having a place that is you know completely focused on transportation um, is just a better idea, right? You, you you're not getting adver advertising for you know things that have nothing to do with what you're doing, right? <laughs> what do you mean you want to buy a vacuum? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, I think that's awesome. And I just really value the direction. And I like that you were able to, well, you collectively and your team, you were able to identify the fact that the transportation industry is underserved, which, so I have a good friend that works for a major OEM manufacturer, and they often speak on the fact that from a purchasing standpoint, transportation trucking is about 10 years behind the passenger vehicle, just part of its population, part of its dollars, obviously it costs a lot to buy a brand new whatever semi. So I think the fact that you saw that too, coming from your background, obviously years of experience with large corporations, really kind of yeah, making your own path. It's cool to see that you saw that and you were just like, man, there's a lot of opportunity here. There's obviously a lot of people here. Like I think a lot of people don't realize they're in transportation one way or the other, or they're a consumer of. So yeah, really good vision. My, um, I guess the biggest question is with that, what caused, because we kind of talked about it initially, but I'm really interested to know what sparked transportation. Were you just in a coffee shop one day talking to someone that said, you know, transportation is really underserved or what really, I guess, made transportation come to mind? And then you start obviously investing time and money into realizing that it is so underserved. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of, uh, research and hearing things on the news and and you know starting to dig into it um we really we saw wow this is really it's worse than we thought basically so and and if if nothing else if we can come in and and make you know make life better for people in that industry um then we've done something really cool nice. Nice. yeah no and i really i'm excited because i really care about our industry it's actually all i've ever known for I guess I'm in year 16 now where I've been really invested in a bunch of different ways. So seeing just, yeah, where you guys are headed, the value that you're already providing for my own journey. And to me, it's really phenomenal. So I'm, I'm glad you had that. <laughs> That's good. Well, thank you very much. And uh, by the way, we're always looking for input on what we can do to, you know, improve the experience, uh, add different features, so on and so forth. So as your listeners, you know, give feedback, we, we would love to hear that. Okay. Yeah, no, and that's a great, uh, just a great call to action because ultimately, yeah, everyone has an input and input does matter. So I appreciate that you suggest that. Are you comfortable if I share, obviously I'll share the website and the show links, but if I give out an email address just so that way people can make contact, is that okay? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. I'll make sure to do that. So um, yeah, but before we do wrap up, I do want to ask a couple final questions to me that these are, I would call them my staple questions because they're topics that I really care about. Um, one of them is legacy. And when I talk about legacy, it's not like when you're gone, Andy, what you're going to be remembered for it's Andy goes into a room, has a great conversation and leaves that impact that you're having that intentional I'm leaving an impression on someone. Do you think at the greater scale, the impact that you're having on the transportation industry, like you and your team talked about the fact that you're literally helping millions of people over the next number of years, better their business, better their livelihoods, just obviously make more money. Are you, is that a key, I guess, topic that you guys dive into as legacy? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, if we can say that we help the industry, help pull it together, help tie it together, uh, helped, you know, with technology, with, you know, help save money, help it. All those pieces, I think, are, are tenant to what we're doing. Nice. Okay, good. Because, yeah, I think I've asked that question just over 100 times now. We've surpassed the 100 episode mark. And that's a very definite answer, which I appreciate because some people are like, well, I haven't thought of it before. And I'm like, you probably have. You just didn't realize you have. So I'm glad that's a key component for you guys. What would you say being now obviously heavily involved in transportation is something that you respect most about professional drivers? Uh, I mean, just the, the, what they've had to deal with and are continuing to deal with, it, it's got to get better, right? So again, we look at it and say, how can we provide tools to make their lives better? E even if it's being able to, you know, provide a new way of contacting people at home and, and letting people know how they're doing and so on and so forth. Right. So it's, 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 uh, if we can save, you know, 30 minutes in finding a parking spot, right. With our technology, then, you know, we feel like we've, we've won and we've contributed to, um, something positive with the industry. Yeah. And well, I didn't know if we would talk about parking, but that is a huge subject right now. And both, Canada states and basically anywhere where there's commercial vehicles. So I appreciate that. And I just appreciate you hopping on Andy and just the value that you're bringing to our industry and obviously your team. I really like Jack. I've had a couple of conversations with him. So shout out to him as well. But as we come to an end, then you just give us a quick recap again, where our listeners can go to check out my trucker pro. Yes. Uh, so again, it's go.mytruckerpro.com. And again, you can sign up immediately for free. And we look forward to seeing you on the site and look me up. I'll be happy to, uh, to friend you and let's start the conversation. So very good. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. Really appreciate your time today. Appreciate what my trucker pro has done again for my journey, for the industry that we care about and just, yeah, keep up the great work. I'm excited to see how things continue to progress. Thank you, Josh. Thanks, thanks. for taking the time and uh, look forward to uh, continued conversations. Great. Have a wonderful day. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Andy, honestly, thank you so much for taking the time to hop on the Truck Focus podcast today and for sharing your incredible story and some of the key details on how My Trucker Pro is really helping professionals further their success in the transportation industry. So today, honestly, the biggest takeaway for myself is when we were talking about the opportunities that exist in the transportation industry, as long as we're willing to take a chance on ourselves and go make it happen. So I highly recommend all of our listeners go check out My Trucker Pro right now. Now, go to the platform, sign up for free and get involved. So you can do so simply by visiting mytruckerpro.com. And remember, it's free to sign up some incredible information. Furthermore, if you have a question for Andy or his team, you can contact them directly on the website. But I've also included Andy's email in the show notes. That way you can get in contact with him. So again, if this is the first time you've ever checked out a Truck Focus podcast, I really welcome you to our community and to our dedicated listeners. Thank you so much for your continued investment of time. Make sure that you like this episode and share it out, but also subscribe to the channel that you're listening to. So as always, let's create a pivotal impact.